everyone and welcome to my channel to my channel to my channel to do Kelly Maple's reborn tag I know I am a few weeks late but I thought it would be a good idea to share where I stand um, in the reborn world since I'm not a huge collector I just like to paint the dolls better so I thought I would make a video about that too so some of you who don't know that side of me um, can know. <laughs> um, sorry, sound out of breath. Need a moment to relax. The one is, how did you find out about Reborn? So, behind me, as you can see, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Monster High Dolls. I am a Monster High Doll collection. I am not a Monster High Doll collection. I am a Monster High Doll collector. And I also collect Ever After High Dolls, which they're on this side of the screen, but you guys can't see them. And I also collect Shoppies, which are also known as the Shopkins brand. And recently I got into the Tuzies. Um, if some of you follow In Love With Reborns 2011, you guys know she collects Tuzies, so those were passed down to me, so now I have it. Anyway, um, these dolls back here have a lot to do with, oh, I feel hair have a lot to do with how Stephanie and I got into Reborn dolls. So back in 2011, when I was um, collecting these dolls, we decided to hop on eBay because we were having the hardest time finding a lot of these dolls at the stores. They would always be sold out. Um, they were a very hot product back in 2010, 2011, 2012. But anyway, in 2011, we decided to hop up, hop hop on eBay and search Monster High Dolls and you know find the ones that we couldn't find at the stores and see that they cost four or five times more than they were retailing for but anyway um, in one of our searches we saw something that said reborn dolls and it was like a link you could click so we clicked it and Voila, we found the Reborn dolls and there was all these beautiful painted Reborn babies and Stephanie, it was love at first sight for her and for me, I was just like, whoa, this is so weird. Like, I didn't know there could be such thing of life like baby dolls. That's how we found them. Number two is do you prefer open or closed eyed babies? Um, As an artist, I prefer painting on open eyed close-eyed babies um, and then next comes the open-eyed babies so as a collector well when I was a collector I noticed that I also preferred closed-eyed babies I guess because you can fool people like I can take it out and not be afraid that somebody's gonna be like that baby's not blinking if it's got open eyes so it's easier to hide because back then I was very shy about reborn dolls number three do you like non-human reborns? Yes, I love non-human reborns. Um, I have bought two of uh, the Twisted Beanstalk Nurseries babies, which are awesome. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Creepy, but cute. The first one I sold, and then the second one I gave to my mother-in-law because she was so in love with her, and I kind of was feeling overwhelmed having, having her, and I think it was... I was starting to collect the Monster High dolls again, so it just got overwhelming. I was trying to find her a new mommy, but my mother-in-law found out that I was trying to sell her, so she took her in. So she is now her mommy, and my mother-in-law lives here now with us, so I get to see the zombie girl, which I missed her so much. I'm so happy she stayed in the family. She's super cute. She sits on this Halloween table decoration thing that we have. She's adorable. So, so yes, I love non-human reborn babies. Oh, I just remembered. I also had a Grinch baby last year made by Lexi. So, so yeah. <sighs> Favorite outfit for each baby. I don't have any babies at the moment. Yes, I adopted Apple out and I'm very sorry to those that loved her, but I had to adopt her out for personal reasons. But there is one outfit that I have kept for years because so in love with it. I don't have all the pieces because I couldn't find them, 
but I will show you what I have. You guys were were in the Reborn um, community when uh, Romeo by Natalie Blick came out. This is when I bought this outfit. So it's like a monster, monster outfit. This is one of the onesies, and I believe I sold the other onesie that went with this. So that kind of sucks because I, it you have these pants that you can pair it up with which this is my favorite part of these pants, a little dragon tail. Um, and then there's these other pants, which I'm pretty sure, I mean, this kind of looks okay, but I think these pants would have match, matched the other onesie better. So. And there's this romper, and I bought this at Babies R Us. Um, it is the Truly Scrumptious, line from our by Heidi, Heidi Klum. I want to say this is three or four years old. I'm keeping it. I don't know why. I love it. I can't see myself getting rid of it. I don't know why I'm so attached to it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, there's also some mittens that come with it and they're so cute because they have little paws. Um, and then there's a hat which has little spikes for the dragon and then um, I think there's eyes on it. thing about Reborns, my favorite thing about Reborns is that I can paint them and I love art. Um, I used to paint a lot as a child and by painting I just mean watercolors or pastels and just doodling around. Um, when I was in high school I took an art class which um, I happen to be my art teacher's favorite art student so uh, that means a lot to me because I've never taken any art classes like professional ones other than in high school so for him to say that about m my work it meant a lot um, so I do love to draw um, I don't do it as much anymore as I used to when I was a teenager but I love art so the fact that I can do art again and then get paid for it and then make a baby out of it and then there's this whole magic i know i sound a little crazy but it's beautiful so that's what i love about reborn